I remember when I got out of the shower and I went to my bedroom to change. Out of nowhere, my babysitter ends up walking in, saw my eggplant, and grabbed it just to make me eat dinner. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another really embarrassing story. So this story all takes place back when I was in high school, and this was my grade 9 year. Now, in grade 9, I managed to get a lot of different types of babysitters because my parents would always go out on vacation and do many different things since I was of age to, well, kind of, I guess, take care of myself, but not fully because I would always end up getting a babysitter but my parents never mind getting a babysitter for me and i remember one day in my grade nine year when i was heading home from school i remember i was super excited to be home because i remember there was a new game coming out that year and i just wanted to play it all day and all night and not do anything else other than play video games and i remember once i walked through my house doors out of nowhere i ended up seeing my parents with luggage near the entrance and one of them looked at me saying oh bubba uh we're going to be leaving for a couple days you will be home but there's a babysitter coming in like half an hour okay i'll see you in three days and then out of nowhere both my parents ended up leaving now this moment honestly i wasn't really phased by it nor did i say anything back because i wasn't surprised that they were doing this and to be honest i had other plans like i said earlier i was just planning to go upstairs and play video games and not do anything else so i remember that exact moment i went upstairs i ended up just you know unpacking my things from school and instantly sat on my bed and just started gaming out of nowhere like i want to say 20 minutes later i ended up hearing the door knock and at that moment i instantly just went down the stairs opened the door for the babysitter and i didn't even say hello to her i literally just opened the door and went right back upstairs I remember this babysitter. She looks at me really like weirdly and she's like, um, you know, you're supposed to say hi when you answer the door. Uh, sorry. I got other plans. I got to go is what I told her. And I went upstairs and I just closed my room door and I just started playing. It's kind of crazy now that I think about it. Cause I basically let a total stranger into my house without any supervision. But at the same time, her job was to supervise me, not me supervising her. So in reality, I just wasn't going to do her job going on from there. I remember I was sitting down I started playing my game and I'm not going to lie to you. I was just going through every mission I can possible searching up YouTube videos on how to beat certain levels and what's the best way to do it but as i was in there for i want to say four hours out of nowhere i remember the babysitter ended up walking into my room and she looks at me and says oh uh so i haven't seen you like all day are you okay like do you need anything no i'm just playing this video game why do you need something no i'm asking you if you need anything because you haven't said anything nor you know have you asked for anything like are you sure you're okay yeah i'm fine i'm just playing this new game that came out i remember that moment she came and sat down beside me and she started like asking me questions about this game and stuff and since i did some research on it before i started playing it obviously i I knew all the answers that she wanted but one thing i will say is that she was probably asking me all these questions because she wanted to get to know me but it's hard to get to know someone when you're only talking about one certain subject like it's like walking up to a girl and just talking about dogs in reality you're learning more about dogs than the actual person but going on with the story i remember one thing led to another she ends up looking at me and says okay well i'm gonna go make dinner are you hungry at all uh yeah you can make me a grilled cheese sandwich that'll be awesome i'm just gonna continue staying here and playing the game so just bring it upstairs would you are you allowed to eat in your room uh yeah is what i told when in reality i wasn't actually allowed to eat in my room but what she was just my babysitter obviously she wouldn't know that so i remember this babysitter goes downstairs gets food ready and then comes back upstairs and gives me my food and just basically leaves me alone i remember hours went by and i want to say like more than five to six hours and it was definitely like getting super late because i remember when i looked outside it was like super dark out when i checked my phone for the time i saw it was like basically like almost three in the morning and when i saw it was three in the morning i was like whoa like it's getting really late but at the same time i didn't really know if i wanted to get off so so I remember I ended up going downstairs real quick to go get a glass of water because, well, I always like to get a glass of water before I go to bed. And when I got my glass of water, I remember I went straight upstairs and I basically started playing the game a bit longer until I ended up passing out. Comment down below if you guys have ever passed out during a video game and what video game it was, because I'm not going to lie to you. Passing out during a video game really shows your passion for the game that you were playing. I remember the next day I ended up waking up out of nowhere and right as I opened my eyes, I am not joking. I looked at my TV that was on my wall and I saw that I was still in the middle of a video game so i ended up actually just picking up my controller again and continued the game literally first thing i did was wake up and start playing video games it's actually kind of insane but this is where things get really crazy because i remember i want to say like 20 minutes went by and out of nowhere i ended up seeing the babysitter that was at the house end up walking into my room saying oh you're awake and you're back on playing the video game uh yeah i just want to beat this mission you do realize you've been playing this game all night right uh yeah what about it okay well i'll just leave you alone i guess yeah that'd be cool thanks and this babysitter ended up leaving. Now, I will say this. I was being really rude to her, but at the same time, like I said earlier, ever since I got home, I had a plan to play this video game. So obviously, I'm going to play it. I remember four hours went by. And once again, I was still playing this game. I don't know how, but I just kept playing this game. And I even got to the point where I actually had a water bottle that I ended up, you know, pissing in because, well, I didn't want to go to the bathroom because I was in the middle of a cutscene. So obviously, sacrifices were made, people. But out of nowhere, I remember my babysitter ends up walking into my room and she looks at me and says, okay, Bubba, seriously? 
literally, you've been playing this game for like over like two days now. I am not joking. You need to take care of yourself. Okay, well, I'll do it later. No, I think you're going to do it right now. My opinion, go take a shower. Uh, I don't really want to. Let me just finish this mission real quick. I remember this babysitter got really fed up with me and she got so upset to the point where she actually ended up walking up in front of my TV and she turned off my Xbox. She turned it off and said, go take a shower now. The game can wait. Oh, fine. Whatever is what I told her. And I instantly just got up, went straight to the bathroom and I just took a shower. I remember when I got into the shower, I was so annoyed and super upset. So I ended up speed running the shower and I am not joking. I was probably in the shower for like less than five minutes. And basically right after my shower, I ended up getting out of the shower, putting on my towel and walking straight back into my room. But when I got inside my room, I ended up seeing my babysitter sitting on my bed, looking at me saying, Bubba, there is no way you showered less than five minutes. There is no possible way you're actually clean. Uh, well, I did. So what about it? Baba? No, seriously, go back into the shower and finish. Finish what? I'm not going to go take a shower. And I'm not joking. When I said that, I did not expect her to do anything because usually babysitters wouldn't do anything. But this babysitter was different because I remember this babysitter ends up walking up to me, takes off my towel and grabs me by the eggplant and says, Baba, you're going back into the shower now. At that moment, I was looking down and I started getting bricked because she was obviously holding my eggplant and she she could definitely feel that I was getting bricked. And I remember this babysitter ended up looking down at her hand that was grabbing my eggplant. And she says, okay, you know what? This is getting weird. You think? is what I said afterwards. And then she ended up basically grabbing it tighter and walking me back to the bathroom just to go back into the shower. At that moment, I felt violated. But at the same time, I was actually kind of like, you know, bricked up because obviously that's kind of hot. Not going to lie. But I was super annoyed. And I'm not joking. I ended up taking a full on 20 minute shower, got out of the shower, went back into my room and started playing the game. But as I was playing the game, I remember the babysitter ends up walking back into my room. Like I want to say like an hour later. And I remember during a cutscene, this babysitter was just standing there. And she said, Baba, I just want to say like, I'm sorry that that happened i was just really fed up and like you were starting to smell and i just wanted you are you even listening to me yeah just give me a second let me finish this cutscene. when she saw i was not paying attention to her she ended up finding out a way to get my attention and that was by pulling her shirt up and she pulled her shirt up and i saw her cherries out and she said bubba are we even now uh yeah we're even is what i said staring at her cherries and your parents are not gonna find out about this right yeah no i'm not gonna say a word okay sweet she ended up pulling her shirt down and she went back downstairs and just mind her own business but at that moment on i'm not gonna lie to you i was actually kind of like amazed about what this babysitter did because not only did she get me to take a shower during grind time but she also got my attention from my cutscene that was very important into the story i'm not joking i ended up having to like reload a save file that i had just to rewatch the cutscene but hey what can i say cherries are my weakness okay so there's a lot of things that babysitters do to take care of like you know the person they're watching but i gotta say what this one babysitter ended up doing was extremely illegal and it got to the point where it actually got really naughty but obviously before we get into this story make sure you guys press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already already seriously it means a lot when you guys do this and it means i can tell more crazy stories like this one on here so just press the subscribe button if you want more story time but other than that let's just jump straight into the today's embarrassing story yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to a really embarrassing video so today's story all starts off back when i was actually in grade eight yeah it was my year of ending middle school and i was just getting out of middle school but obviously one time when i ended up coming home i ended up seeing that my parents were actually packing the car up for a trip where they were going to head to the US of A. If you guys don't know, I have family that lived down in the United States. And I remember basically I was never able to go because I always ended up having schoolwork to do, or I either had sports or let's just say I would always have a reason not to go. And as much as I want to go to the States, my parents wouldn't let me because, well, they wanted me to be a good student. And obviously me being a good student wasn't obviously a thing. So one thing that they would always do is hire a babysitter. So I remember as my parents were packing the car, my mom ended up walking up to me saying, we got you a babysitter. She's going to be here any minute. She's going to be here for only two days. So don't worry. You'll be a-okay. Wait, mom, are you serious? A babysitter? Come on. I don't need a babysitter. I'm in grade eight. I'm almost done middle school. I'm going to be a high schooler. Baba, that's no excuse. You need a babysitter. Whatever, mom. And at that point, I ended up going upstairs to my room, doing my homework, and then playing some Call of Duty. I remember 10 minutes went by, and then I ended up hearing a knock on the door. And when I heard the knock on the door, I ended up answering it, and I saw it was a babysitter. But this babysitter babysitter wasn't any ordinary babysitter because this babysitter ended up coming in and she was some high schooler that was like I want to say like 17 turning 18 and she ended up funny enough having a briefcase with her that 
that looked like there was a lot of valuable stuff in it. Like, I am not joking. She was holding like one of those silver briefcases that people would usually put like tons of money in. I remember I looked at her and I ended up telling her, um, I have a question. Is that all your stuff that you brought to my house for the night? Oh yeah, don't worry. I'm going to make sure I take extra good care of you. I ended up looking at her kind of in fear, but at the same time, I was in grade eight and I was just hoping that this babysitter would do her thing and I would do my thing. So I ended up just going upstairs and playing video games. Now, this is where the story gets a little weird because I remember as I was in my room playing video games, I remember I ended up coming downstairs for a quick bite to eat because I ended up getting hungry after playing so much Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And I ended up seeing my babysitter on a ladder, basically putting something in the kitchen. Now, she wasn't putting plates away. She wasn't cleaning anything. She was just trying to set something up on top of the kitchen counter. And I ended up looking at her saying, what are you doing? She instantly turns around and says, oh, uh, nothing. I'm just making sure everything's like, you know, uh, ship shape in here. W what do you need? Oh, uh, I'm just hungry. Oh, then let me feed you, little boy. Yeah, she called me little boy. I can't believe it either. But anyways, after she ended up feeding me, I remember she ended up asking me which one was my room. I ended up telling her, oh, my room's like upstairs to the left. And she instantly decided to go upstairs right away, right as I said that. I didn't know what she was doing in my room, but honestly, I remember when she went upstairs so quickly though, I was a little worried because I was wondering why in this world is this babysitter going in my room? So I ended up basically going upstairs literally right after I finished eating and I saw that she was putting something in my room. Now, I didn't know what she was putting and every time I would ask her, she instantly would would just turn around and say nothing i was just checking your room this is a really cool desk and gaming setup you have okay i'm gonna go downstairs now and she ended up going downstairs i ended up following her downstairs asking her a bunch of questions like hey is like is everything okay is there anything you need to talk about because she was acting really really weird and then that's when this babysitter ended up going into this briefcase and pulling out an ipad and this ipad was no normal apple ipad like she was pulling out some weird like sony professional ipad and she ended up looking at me saying oh don't worry i'm gonna make sure you're gonna be a-okay i remember I, she ended up looking at me with her eyes wide open as if she was some crazy lady and i was just kind of in fear i ended up looking at her saying okay well i'm just gonna be in my room oh okay that sounds fine to me and she ended up going to the living room sitting down turning on my tv and then she ended up basically just staring at her ipad as she was watching tv i remember i was watching her for like a good two minutes as she was sitting on my couch using my tv and she looks at the ipad saying bubba i see you're still there you can leave now at that point i ended up going upstairs and i ended up going to my room and basically just sitting on my bed thinking what in the world was she doing and at this moment i honestly had this like gut feeling in my stomach that i was being watched now obviously i was being watched because i had a babysitter but i had like a more gut feeling like she was always watching and this gave me a giant scare i remember it got pretty late at night and she ended up feeding me and she was doing her normal babysitting duties but then i remember as i was in my room laying down for bed i remember she ended up coming into my room saying uh bubba do you need to get tucked in or are you good? Uh, I'm in grade eight. I'm pretty sure I'm good, but thanks. Okay, well, I'm just going to be downstairs. Tell me if you need anything. Uh, okay. And right as I say that, she ended up going downstairs and basically ended up watching TV again. Me, I ended up sitting in my room and for some reason I couldn't sleep. I just kept looking around my room and I felt like something was off. And usually at this time, since I was in grade eight and I felt like something was off, I decided to do the one thing that was really normal between all teenagers and that was beat my eggplant. So I remember I decided to whip out my eggplant. I ended up getting my lotion you know doing the whole tradition that most people have or most guys i should say have and right at that moment as i was about to beat my eggplant my babysitter walks into the room and says baba what are you doing you should be asleep right now i ended up looking at her and i'm like uh uh and i ended up having my eggplant in my hand and she's just staring at me as i'm like holding it and i'm like um can i get some privacy but but if you're gonna do that at least let me help you out with that i remember she ends up actually coming up to me and me and her we actually ended up doing the devil's tango out of nowhere it was the most craziest thing ever and it was like she was preparing this whole night to do that singular thing i remember after we did the devil's tango i ended up asking her like you know how did she find out that like you know i was you know gonna beat my eggplant and she told me that she put a camera in my room and she told me the way she watches over people when she's babysitting is that she puts cameras everywhere so apparently this whole time she put cameras in my room in the bathroom in the kitchen and she always just knew where i was i gotta say even though i got to do the devil's tango what this girl did was extremely illegal but hey at the same time my parents only hired her once okay so i've had a ton of weird babysitters but a babysitter that wanted to be the baby that's a little insane until i actually experienced it but before we get into the story, make sure you guys press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do this. And let's just jump straight into this embarrassing story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to a super embarrassing story.
story. So today's story all takes place back in my middle school year. And I remember this was when I was in grade seven. Now, when I was in grade seven, I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't mature, nor was I able to take care of myself. To be honest, if I had to choose what to eat for dinner, it'd probably be mac and cheese with a jug of chocolate milk. Would that be healthy? No, but would I enjoy it? Yes. So anyways, going on with the story, I remember from there one time when I was sitting in my room playing Call of Duty during winter break, which is funny enough because we're in winter break right now. I remember my mom ended up coming up to me saying, oh, Bubba, we're going to go to America to visit some family for winter break. I know you don't want to come because we bought you a new video game for Christmas. So we're going to let you basically stay here, but we're going to hire a babysitter. I remember I looked at my parents and this was nothing out of the regular. My parents would always go on trips to America to go see family that we have there. And me, I never really went because I obviously want to stay home playing video games and dream about being a famous YouTuber, which thanks to you guys pressing the subscribe button, you guys are able to do. Anyways, going on, I remember I ended up saying, whatever, it's fine. And basically my parents went online to find a babysitter for some reason they always went online and found this like really weird babysitter site where they could basically find me babysitters and i'm not gonna lie to you every single one of them was probably super weird except that really nice old lady that gave me cookies every time i wanted she was cool but this babysitter that ended up coming over was the most weirdest babysitter of all time because i remember the next day when my parents were packing their bags getting ready i remember i heard my door knock and when my door knocked obviously i went downstairs and opened it to see who the babysitter was and when i opened it i realized that there was a woman that was probably around 16 17 and she was wearing a onesie yeah a onesie and it wasn't no normal onesie it was like one of those like bunny onesies that like chicks wear to like you know i guess look cute even though they're still ugly and i remember i was so in shock when i saw this to the point where i was like hi are you my babysitter yeah i'm your babysitter we're gonna have so much fun oh my goodness where are your parents oh they're just getting their bags ready to go okay well let's just get straight into it oh my goodness what do you want to do um okay you babysit and i'm just gonna go do stuff i guess at that moment my mom came down introduced herself and basically showed her around the house while i went straight up to my room and started playing video games and then afterwards when my parents ended up leaving the driveway with the vehicle my babysitter came up to my room and said oh my goodness bubba what are you doing uh i'm playing video games why what's up oh well like i'm trying to figure out this tv but i don't know how this works can you come show me you don't know how to use a tv remote no i don't i my parents don't let me use tv why oh because they said i get addicted to it really easily at that moment me knowing that i thought okay maybe if i turned on the tv this babysitter would leave me alone so i went downstairs with her i ended up turning on my tv and basically i ended up getting ready to go back up to my room but before i ended up going back upstairs to play video games my babysitter ended up yelling at me saying oh where are you going i'm um, going upstairs to my room Room. Oh, can you get me some milk? You want milk? Yeah, can you please get me some milk? I really want some milk. I like milk. The way she was talking was super weird, and I didn't know if she was like trying to talk in like a baby voice to like make me like, you know, feel not intimidated. But I am not joking. She was the most annoying thing on the planet. But, anyways, I ended up getting her a glass of milk, and when I gave her the glass of milk, she ended up telling me that she preferred milk in a water bottle. So I ended up getting a water bottle, emptying the water, pouring the milk in it, and then basically handing it to her. When I gave it to her, she was almost drinking it as if it was a baby bottle, and it was the most weirdest thing ever. But anyway, she ended up watching the TV, watching some cartoon for herself while I went back upstairs and started playing video game. But I want to say 10 minutes into my team deathmatch Call of Duty match, out of nowhere, my babysitter ends up coming upstairs and walking into my room saying, Oh, Baba, can I play? You want to play? Yeah, can I please play? Uh, I mean, this game's not really for kids. Excuse me, I'm your babysitter. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I guess you are. And then I ended up standing up, giving her the controller, and she sat on my gaming setup playing video games. But as she was playing in the middle of a match, she ended up handing me her water bottle, or I guess milk bottle, and telling me to refill it. At this point, I was super annoyed, because I didn't know who was the babysitter in this situation, me or her. But anyways, just to make sure I didn't get into any trouble, I ended up going downstairs, giving her milk, and then afterwards, she ended up asking me, Oh, Bubba, what do you have for dinner? I, I don't know. Didn't my parents, like, leave money for pizza? Oh, can you order pizza? I'm, I'm 12. I, I don't know how to order a pizza. Okay, well, here, just use my phone. She ended up giving me her phone, and her wallpaper was like some Hello Kitty childish stuff. And at that moment, I realized that this girl was like a 17-year-old in like a 5-year-old's body. Like, she was the most annoying thing ever, and she literally ended up being the baby of 
well the babysitting situation i should say anyways going on with the story i was super annoyed that entire night because basically i ended up taking care of her and that wasn't even the weirdest part because as it became nighttime i remember this babysitter ended up coming into my room in the middle of the night as i'm trying to sleep and she ended up coming up beside me and laying down beside me in her onesie i remember she laid down beside me and i freaked out and i woke up saying wait what are you doing i don't like sleeping in the dark alone can you just sleep with me honestly that was the only time i think ever in my life that a woman has asked to sleep with me and we didn't end up doing the devil's tango like it was the most weirdest thing ever anyways i remember the next day came and basically my parents ended up coming back home they came back home and they walked into my room and they saw me and the babysitter sleeping beside each other and they kind of freaked out obviously my babysitter said nothing happened and so did i without i guess lying about it at this time because usually it does happen but this time it didn't and one thing led to another well that was a babysitter that was never gonna get hired again especially at my house anyways guys that is basically it for today's really embarrassing story make sure you guys press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like i always say just follow for more embarrassing stories just like this one peace out guys my name is baba i'm still on top of the world devil's taking with your mother of course let's go should i make it a story let's click record